Resident Evil is a remake, released in 2002, of the original 1996 game of the same name. It's about 70% different than the original, and sadly, all the scariness of the original is gone. This game is just not scary. Whoa! Anyway, like I was saying, it's just not scary. Holy s***! Pause! Uh, okay, it's kind of scary. If you're watching this, you probably already know the story of Resident Evil, so I won't go into detail. New additions include defensive weapons, new monsters, and a whole new storyline. Like the original, you play as either Jill Valentine or Chris Redfield, and you must make your way through a mansion riddled with monsters, traps, and puzzles. The difficulty feels just right. It's not too hard, but it's not so easy that you'll blow through it without dying a few times. But the hardest part of the game is being able to save. The only time you can save is if you have ink ribbons, which can be scarce. Ammo can also become scarce if not conserved properly. But if you do run into trouble, you can always just use the grenade launcher glitch. Hell yeah. The graphics are amazing, even to this day. Remember, this is a GameCube title released several years ago, and the graphics are even better than most Wii games. Hell, I'd even put it up against some 360 games. And the sound is just as good as the graphics. The thunder sounds like it's right outside your window. There are about a hundred different sounds for footsteps. And whether music is playing or not, the sound just gives you a really creepy feeling. Hey Whisker, where's Chris? Jill, no. You don't want to go back out there. But we've got to find... What was that? You gotta love those voiceovers. Classic. Oh, I almost forgot. It's a lockpick. You'd make better use of it. The characters still move like tanks, which might get you in trouble a few times, but you'll get used to it after a while. I got this game for $11, and my first playthrough was 12 hours. It's definitely worth the money. If you have a GameCube or a Wii, this is a definite buy.